My first relationship was when I was around 11 years old, 12 years old, until I graduated from high school, and that was with my good friend Otis. We met in junior high school, and that was us as teenage, prepubescent teenagers, um, hanging out and discovering male-to-male -male sex. And through the process that um, we got to know each other, that was a relationship developed. And Otis was a year older than myself, almost two years older. And so as we were growing, into our puberty. It was quite an experience in developing our relationship together. And it became more sexual as we got a little older. And from there, it was quite a loving relationship. And throughout the process of knowing each other through those years, um, Otis, being a little older, at the age of 17, he was having some issues dealing with the aspect of being a gay person. And so, uh, in my senior year of high school, Otis committed suicide. So it was quite a shock to get to know someone and to have that happen. Actually, two days before he had committed suicide, we had been with each other. We had relocated um, because of uh, regentrification and urban renewal in Detroit at the time, the neighborhood was sort of broken up and we moved to another section of town. And on that Sunday, uh, Otis had come by to visit me while my parents and siblings were away at one of my aunt's house uh, visiting. And of course, being our impetuous selves, we had great sex that day. And on that Tuesday, his cousin William contacted me and told me that Otis had committed suicide. It was very um, difficult for me at the first because I didn't understand why he had done so and what was the cause of it because he had never talked about it in any way that he was having difficulty with it. But later on, because of school and a few days of mourning for myself, I had to get back to the business at hand, which was to finish school. And so that was always a, a question in my mind, even till today, as to why he did so. But that, an that answer will never come. <laughs>